we sort of have like a producer in training. And I guess what really happened is I realized she's in, it's not her fault. She's just like in way too deep. And I realized I had to, that like what I was asking wasn't getting done. Mm. That's why I went in. Cause I was like, not in a bad way, but it was like, she was limit tested and she's not there yet. She cannot make these templates. She cannot, she's not there. So I did. I was like, forget this then. Actually, I'll, t- I'll share this. I was speaking with our producer and I said, and I had said, use this particular calendar from our snap department as an example. Well, when I went and looked, I was like, this looks nothing like the snap calendar. So I hit her up, you know, I get on a call with her. I'm like, dude, I'm going to make this template. And what happened? Right. And she's mm-hmm. like, well, somebody else showed me something else. And I thought that looked better. And I was like, mm. <laughs> so new rule don't listen to anybody but me <laughs> this, is, this is the new rule you know and i said and i said i know this is counterproductive to don't let me get in your way because we have a lot of we have a lot of beautifully contradictive rules at the company but the, the rules are contextual to the person don't let me stop you from doing your job is a big rule that i give to all my managers mm-hmm. that's a big rule don't let me stop you from doing my job but also from doing your job. Be ex- yeah, right. From doing their jobs. But also, if I call, respond immediately. And I'm the only one that you have to do that for. And number two is if I tell you something. And then I always do it so that they f- understand the f- try to hit them in an emotional place. I'm like, do you not believe in me? You know, do you not think that I put all my time and effort in to give you that direction to make sure that it was the right thing? And then they always feel so bad. And I'm like, okay, good. Like that feeling is the thing to remember. Like that I, feels mean. It's not done in a mean way. Here it sounds mean, but obviously I'm not saying it, making people cry. I'm just trying to frame it so that they understand that at this company, of all the people working in different areas, currently I'm the one that's the putting in the most time and effort to get it right. Not a bad thing. It's just what it is. So if you're hearing from different perspectives. You know, let's have that conversation. I said, the problem here isn't anything other than that you didn't ask. You didn't say, hey, I saw this other thing. I think it could be better. Yeah, let's talk about it. Do you see? That's what I mean. So you kind of disrespected my opinion on the thing. Assuming that their opinion is better, which I think is a little silly given where the company's at right now. You know? as far as like who's here and what they're working on. And so I think framing it that way helps people understand like, oh yeah, he, I should, even though he tells me like to just go forth and forge my path, like discussion, when was discussion erased from that? 